3D Project, an innovative European project for the capture and storage of CO2 on an industrial scale. In 2018, global energy-related greenhouse gas emissions rose 1.7% to a historic high of 33.1 gigatons of CO2 equivalent. Most of these emissions are related to combustion of coal, oil products and natural gas to use energy in buildings, factories or for transport purposes. A significant part is also related to industrial processes such as cement and steel manufacturing. To limit global warming under 2 degrees Celsius by 2100 and meet the Paris Agreement, the objective set by the European Commission in its Green Deal is to achieve carbon neutrality by 2050 balance between emissions and carbon sinks. Reducing emissions will not be enough. It will be necessary to find solutions to store residual emissions by increasing sequestration by natural carbon sinks as well as carbon capture from industrial and energy production processes CCUS. Objective? Reuse this CO2 or store it in geological reservoirs. In its sustainable development scenario, the International Energy Agency estimates that CCUS technologies will avoid more than one gigatons of CO2 emissions in 2050. In France, the 3D project for the MX demonstration in Dunkirk uh, was launched in 2019 to demonstrate an innovative industrial CO2 capture process. This project is coordinated by IFP EN and it brings together other 10 partners from research and industry uh, from seven European countries. Uh, there are ArcelorMittal, Accents, Total, Air Products, Brevik Engineering, CMI, DTU, Gasco, ETH, Zurich, uh, and Uticon. It aims at demonstrating the effectiveness of the DMX process on an industrial demonstration plant and preparing the implementation of the first large-scale industrial unit at the ArcelorMittal site in Dunkirk, uh, possibly operational in 2026. The ultimate goal is to explore the European Dunkirk North Sea cluster that may capture, transport and store 10 million tons of CO2 per year by 2035. The DMX process was developed and patented by IFPN and it is a process of CO2 capture based on a solvent with a very high cyclic capacity. The mix solvent chemical stability allows to operate the regeneration at higher temperature than existing process and therefore to produce CO2 at higher pressure which also results in considerable energy savings compared to conventional processes. Thanks to the heat recovered on ArcelorMittal site, the DMX process should also lead to a 30% reduction in the total cost of capture compared to reference solvents. ArcelorMittal targets to reduce its CO2 emission by 30% in Europe by 2030, aligned with its ambition to reach carbon neutrality by 2050. To achieve this goal, we are developing several groundbreaking technologies and experimenting pilots on an industrial scale. DMX technology, like other technologies we develop, represents major benefit for company and population. It will contribute to decarbonize steel industry and Dunkirk industrial hub without relocating greenhouse gases emissions to other world regions that are less stringent in terms of environmental regulation. It will also preserve employment and steel expertise in Europe. As a key factor in many industrial value chain, the ability to produce warm steel in France and Europe is a major strategic asset. The first industrial unit, operational from 2026 on Dunkirk site, is expected to capture more than 1 million tons of CO2 per year. 3D project is part of the development of the European Dunkirk North Sea cluster. This cluster would capitalize on mutualized CO2 conditioning and transport infrastructures towards the offshore storage sites. Transportation solutions from Dunkirk to storage sites in the North Sea by pipeline and ships are being studied together with Total Expert teams. Thanks to its maritime exposure to North Sea, 
Dunkerque Industrial Zone is strategically well positioned to be the first French region with a CCS infrastructure that will help meeting the French commitment from 2015 Paris Agreement. For example, the Northern Light project is one of the offshore storage projects that was studied in the European zone and in which Total is an active partner. The project has just been approved by the Norwegian Parliament on September 21st in the frame of a larger project named Langskip. This really opens the way for larger CCS deployment at the European scale. The DNX Demonstrator Unit is being built under supervision of Accents since mid-2020, and the delivery on Durking Steel site is planned by end of 2021, for an operation beginning of 2022. This unit shall validate the efficiency and reliability of the process for capturing CO2 from steel gases as well as from other industrial emitters. Based on the 2019 figures of the International Energy Agency, power generation plants are accounting for nearly 40% of global energy-related CO2 emissions. Furthermore, incinerators, cement and iron plants or refinery FCC units are accounting for over 50% of industrial CO2 energy-related emissions. All these examples are centralized CO2 sources of emissions and the goal of the DNX process is to be used and put on the market to decarbonize emissions from such industrial applications.